to Ganesh's YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss about Faraday's method. That means how we can solve a biquadratic equation having degree four. So the basic funda after this process, in this process, is that you need to reduce the degree of your equation. That means you have biquadratic equation having degree four. Reduce it, transform it into cubic, and then quadratic. And then after you know how to solve a quadratic equation, either by using quadratic method or splitting the term method. Okay. One more trick which you need to use here is that you need to consider another biquadratic equation of the form. Let's see, of the form x square plus half of this coefficient. So half of two is one. X plus lambda whole square. Now because you have taken this. Which can be expanded as you can see. This is your part. Now you can apply a plus b plus c whole square here. So a square plus b square plus c square plus two ab plus two bc plus two ca. Okay. So what you are observing here is that this is having only. Two terms from the question, right? So all the other terms are extra. So you need to remove all other terms. So minus x square minus lambda square plus two x lambda minus two lambda x square, and rest of the question should be written here: minus five x square plus ten x minus three equals zero. All right. Now. Take all the other terms apart from this biquadratic equation on to right hand side. X square plus lambda square minus two x lambda plus two lambda x square plus five x square minus ten x plus three. Okay. Now collect all the like terms all together. So first of all, highest power x square. So it is one. Then two lambda. This is five. One plus five is six plus two lambda. Then after x, so coefficient of x here is minus two lambda. Then minus ten, and the constant term at the last. Okay. Now you can see that uh, this right hand side is we have right hand side equal to a perfect square, right? And perfect square, you know, like for eighty, for example, eighty-one, you have perfect square as none. Now that means you have equal roots, real and equal roots for this. So, if you have real and equal roots for a quadratic equation, that means when you will apply quadratic formula, you will have your discriminant as zero. That's correct. So d should be zero. That means b square minus 4ac should be zero. That means b square should be 4ac. All right. Now, the coefficient of x square is a. This is b. This is c. Put in our own the values here. So minus 2 lambda minus 10 whole square is equal to 4a c. If you take minus 2 common, so 2 square 4 lambda plus 5. And if you expand this, six lambda square, six times three is eighteen. Two lambda cube plus six lambda. So four is cancelled with four. Now open this as well. So what it would be? A square plus B square plus two AB, right? Now solve this for lambda. Okay, solve this for lambda. Let me grab just a. Um, so you can see here, this is your two lambda cube, this is your six lambda square, and this is lambda square in negative, so plus five lambda square. You have done with this. Then after this is six lambda, six minus ten is four, eighteen minus twenty five is seven, right? Now because this is a cubic equation, so you will have three roots for this. But you need to find one of the root which uh, should be in the most simplified form. Now, if you see by hidden trial, we can see. Let's 
say if we will put lambda as minus 1, so minus 2 plus 5 plus 4 minus 7. So 9 minus 9 is 0. So that means lambda minus 1 is the equation, is the root for this equation. So put lambda minus 1 into your main equation, this one. If you will put lambda minus 1 here, what you will get? See, mm, let me use this. Lambda is minus 1. So x square minus x plus lambda whole square, which is minus 1. It would be x square, 6 minus 2 is 4. And this is minus this is minus 1, minus minus plus, minus 8x, minus 1 is plus, so 4, right? So, you can write it as, see if you write it as, take 4 common, what is left now? This is the square for x minus 1 whole square, right? Now, you can think of various ways, like, Cancel this 2 with this 2 if you can write it as 2 square. But don't do this because then you will get only 2 roots. However, because this is a bi-quadratic equation and it's degrees 4, that's why you should have 4 roots, right? So, what you can do, see I can write it as if I take 2 inside, 2x minus 2 whole square, right? And if you bring this into the left hand side, you can say, see that this is forming the form of a square minus b square, right? So, a square minus b square is what? That's correct. a plus b a a is this minus b. So, minus 2x plus 2, right? So, now you can see initially we made quad cubic equation. Now, we have two quadratic equation. So, simplify this. x squared 2x minus x is x minus 3 and here minus 3x plus 1. Now, you can see, you can put this as 0, this as 0. That means you are having two quadratic equation. Now, in class, either splitting the term or quadratic formula. So, from this, x squared plus, you want minus 3, right? So, what you can do, plus 3x minus x, and for this, x square, again, what, how you can write it? Because you need 1, so for this, you can apply quadratic formula, right? This is your minus 3x plus 1. Um, yes, so apply quadratic formula for this. What is A here? 1, B is minus 3, C is 1. So, D is equal to B square minus 4AC, which is 5. So, this is root 5 square. So, your X will be minus B, which will be, which will be plus 3, plus minus root D. So, root will be cancelled as square by 2A. So, these are your two roots. And from here, X plus 3 minus 1, X plus 3. So, from here, you will get two equations, two, two roots as minus 3 and 1. So, these are your, see, 3 plus root 5 by 2, 3 minus root 5 by 2. These are your four roots for this particular bi-quadratic equation, all right? I hope you understand this video fully. And if so, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.